Guys, a couple of years ago, I was at the Kennedy Space Center. It was one of the most interesting experiences that I ever had. We had a great tour guide there. And if he's seeing this, hello. And I really catched interest into space very long time ago. So I'm a super, 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 super big space fan. Not only that, but we have just great news for humanity and that's why welcome to this vlog i had to put my spacesuit on because what actually happened is freaking amazing <laughs> Before diving in, I would like to give you something because I missed it, okay? I missed that we have the Martin Luther King holidays in the US and that's why a little bit belated, but you will get with Martin 15, 15% discount in the next 24 hours on my x10masterclass.com. Check it out. 100 unreleased videos about stock market and how to find 10x stocks, an uh, Excel sheet that will give you the opportunity to check your X10 stock that you found and see if you did everything that I did to find companies like Tesla. And also finally, lifetime access into Discord chat where we talk about space and other companies 24 hours with people around the world. Speaking about the around the world, let me know in the comments below guys, Post the emoji flag where you are watching from, okay? I want to see so, so, so many different flags, same like in my live streams, which are still a little bit, you know, blocked the, until mid of February. So stay tuned. Anyway, first I want to start, what is Virgin Orbit doing? What they just did and why it's important for space, Virgin Galactic, and then we jump into a conclusion. I recorded this video yesterday, so I don't know the pre-market price or the stock market price of Virgin Galactic yet today, but my best guess would be that this news will give the space stock a push of, I would say, 8 to 12%. This would be my best guess, okay? Let's see if I'm right. So I'm super excited because Virgin Orbit has one mission. The launching of rockets can be quite expensive, right? So that's why companies like Blue Origin or SpaceX or governments trying to find solutions how to launch rockets, satellites, and maybe people, astronauts into space one day much cheaper and more efficient. So there was the concept that, you know, a rocket uses like, I think it was 95 or 98% of its power at the start to leave Earth. So why not cut this short? That's why Richard Branson and his team at Virgin Orbit developed a Cosmic Girl, which is this custom-built Boeing 747 and take the rocket with them and basically drop it in the air and then they launch it and so they save so much power by not needing to start from planet Earth. So this was now the attempt that actually was successful. The last one a couple of months ago was not successful. So this one was successful and it was just incredible. Think about it, which new opportunities this give us as humans. We can launch satellites, we can launch experiments, we can launch people into space. At some point, we will be able maybe to launch, you know, people to other planets even with this kind of method. And obviously it's a business by itself that was actually once together with Virgin Galactic, but at some point they decided to split those businesses because you know, on both sides, there's so much engineering to do that they should focus separately. But why this is so important for Virgin Galactic, guys? And this is what we will talk about in the next category. Okay, so think about it. Two different companies, two different products, and totally different shareholders. Why? the success of Virgin Orbit is benefiting Virgin Galactic? Well, there's a couple of reasons. First, 
a similar name. I know this sounds stupid, but people are seeing Virgin Orbit and they are buying Virgin Galactic. This is happening. I mean, this just happened with Elon Musk saying use Signal and Signal is like a cryptid messaging app, an alternative to WhatsApp. And people were looking on, you know, on the stock market, if Signal is on the stock market and bought like some different kind of Signal uh, stocks that were out there that had nothing to do with that, okay? So this is how crazy sometimes things can go up. So this is the reason number one. Second, both are companies by Richard Branson. This gives us a kind of DNA of success. So think about it. The people are thinking, well, if Virgin Orbit is so successful, then there's a good probability that Virgin Galactic is also super successful. And this mindset is applied by many investors out there. Then obviously the engineering between both companies can for sure be shared. Okay. So let's say they need some help here and there. I'm sure same like with the companies of Elon Musk, you know, engineers are shared between Tesla and space or the Tesla team looks at space problems or the SpaceX looks at Tesla problems. So this is exactly what happened behind the scenes for Virgin Orbit and Virgin Galactic as well. I'm 100% sure. So either way you see here, even though totally separate companies on paper, definitely, definitely benefiting from each other's success. So I saw when Virgin Orbit didn't have the success before in the last try and the space stock lost a bit of value and it will be the other way around. Again, my, let's say best guess will be somewhere around eight to 12% that Virgin Galactic still go up. This is my best guess only. So let's dive into the final conclusion of this video. And I hope until then, until this moment in this video, you already subscribed and like, and let me know in the comments what you think about Virgin Galactic. So let's dive into the conclusion. So in the conclusion, you will see that I'm super bullish on space. First of all, obviously, you know, I am one of the first YouTubers ever here in the financial world that talked about Virgin Galactic and invested into Virgin Galactic. And I'm in the spaceship with you guys till the very end, very long term focused, very, very in the beginnings where we are now. And I'm super excited what's coming up. I know I might use the word excited maybe too much because I'm too much excited, but bear with me. I want to make sure that, you know, though those are two separate companies, you will see that both are benefiting from each other because they are just bringing the forward space topic, you know, and net to the next level, right? Which is great because as more space will be a really understandable industry for people, people want to be part of it and invest in it and seeing the growth. And you know, you will see exponential growth like in industries like AI, like the internet, like social media, you will see that in space as well. Now we see, you know, the first companies like back then Yahoo or AOL, you know, working on something and Amazon and everything. And now you will see that this companies will be followed by even more companies that will launch things in space. And that's why I think that investing now into Virgin Galactic or other companies that are working and that are having great value for their price that you're paying for the stock is very important because you now you can be early. Now you can be part of the team. Now you can be part of the exciting. I feel like the really exciting times are always the beginning timings. And uh, this is, it was always the case, right? When Apple launched the first iPhone, when they launched the first MacBook, now, now it's just like a mature company trying to innovate and they don't know if it's maybe more service, maybe it's AR, maybe it's the car, right? It's so difficult for big, big companies to constantly pivot while, you know, having a huge business to run. So those small companies have actually a big, big advantage. And that's why I love to be early on. And I see you obviously tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Check out x10masterclass.com. Mm -hmm.